Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to talk about the tangent of theta. Notice how we spell tangent, T-A-N, but if we want to spell it out, we write it as tangent. And what does that mean, the tangent of theta? Well, again, let's take a look at the unit circle. Unit circle has a radius of 1. The equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Notice that wherever the hypotenuse touches the edge of the circle, we have an xy value. Those are the xy coordinates of that point. The y coordinate will have the value of the size of y, the distance from there to there, and the x will have the value from the distance from the origin to that point right there. Notice that x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, that's where the equation comes from. And if we take this triangle right here and we draw it over here, we can see that this is the hypotenuse in the unit circle that's equal to 1. There's the opposite side to the angle because it doesn't touch the angle. Here's the adjacent side to the angle because it touches the angle. Now, the definition of the tangent. By definition, it's the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. And since the opposite side is known as y, adjacent side is known as x, we can say that's equal to y over x. Or, since y is equal to the sine of theta, we can write an x is equal to the cosine of theta. We can say that the tangent of theta is equal to the ratio of the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. In the previous two videos, we find out what the values for the sine and the cosine of theta were for the angles of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. Let's now figure out what the value for the tangent of theta is based upon these values. Notice, since the tangent of theta is equal to the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, that implies that the tangent of 0 degrees is equal to the ratio of the sine of 0 degrees divided by the cosine of 0 degrees, and the sine of 0 is 0. The cosine of 0 is 1, so that would be 0 divided by 1, which is 0, which means that the tangent of 0 degrees is equal to 0. Okay, now let's do it for 30 degrees. The tangent for 30 degrees is equal to the sine of 30 degrees divided by the cosine of 30 degrees. The sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. The cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Notice both fractions have a 2 in the denominator, which means that this simplifies to 1 over the square root of 3 for the tangent of 30 degrees. How about the tangent of 45 degrees? The tangent of 45 degrees is equal to the sine of 45 degrees divided by the cosine of 45 degrees. Notice that at 45 degrees, the sine, oh, whoa, whoa, I got something wrong here. This is the square root of 2 over 2. All right, good thing I caught that. So the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees are equal to each other, which means that this is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 divided by the square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So the tangent at 45 degrees is 1. So remember, the tangent is simply the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. The opposite side will be very small when the angle is small, and so therefore the tangent of small numbers goes to 0. And when we go to the opposite way, if we make the angle go to 90 degrees, notice the opposite side gets big and the adjacent side gets small, so the tangent gets very big. And in the limit, when x goes to 0, when the cosine of 90 degrees goes to 0, the tangent should go to infinity. So let's see what happens. Do I have some room there? Uh, let me come over here and finish up the job. How about the tangent of 60 degrees, which is equal to the sine of 60 degrees divided by the cosine of 60 degrees? The sine of 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine is 1 half, right there. So this is equal to the square root of 3 because the 2's cancel out. So that's already bigger than 1. And finally, when we take the tangent of 90 degrees, which is equal to the ratio of the sine of 90 degrees divided by the cosine of 90 degrees, which is equal to 1 divided by 0. And of course, 1 divided by 0 is infinity or undefined. So the tangent gets really big very fast when the angle gets close to 90 degrees. Again, the tangent is the ratio of the sine divided by the cosine is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side or y divided by x on the unit circle. And that's what the tangent of theta is.